are watching really good vlogs and today is a great day because I am going on holiday yes guess where I'm going guys Vermont it's an epic place on your bucket list for sure can you guess Great. yeah no all jokes aside um, it is a cool place we went last year in the summer it was like the hottest week of the year it was really cool and um, well really hot but a really cool place and um, it's the first time we've ever been to the south coast last year so it opened our eyes to how many awesome places there are in england to see and um, yeah it's beautiful so we're off again it's late september and usually at this time in the year we would have been as a family on numerous holidays already we would have most likely been to spain about once twice maybe three times um, America, we usually go there about once a year and we most probably would have been on a few European breaks too but this year has just been mad for me, literally mad At the start of the year I had my hand operation um, so I had like numerous operations in about the space of about two months and then um, I had to recover from that which took about another two months and then since then it's just been busy my my nephew was born with in april which um yeah was was amazing i'm now an uncle and um, so we've been busy with him and we thought that we may be able to fit a break in or a holiday in near the end of the year about round about now but um that's not happening because my schedule's just got even busier um yeah a few few cool things are going to be happening within the next month or so so no time to go abroad but instead we're going to Weymouth and the place we're going it's a caravan it's like a yeah it's a caravan basically but it's funded by the charity Deborah that um, supports people with my condition so um, they own, own the caravan and we like sufferers of the condition and families book it at a reduced rate um, which is awesome because to stay it's quite a nice site and to stay at the site in the summer even like during the winter it's, it's, it's quite expensive I think in the summer it's like £1,200 a week where um, the, the, the charity has this caravan for, for people um, the sufferers of the condition and the families and we get it at, at a reduced rate so yeah it's awesome and um, more, more making memories that's what it's all about so yeah um follow me let's go to weymouth i'm going to be driving i think the first few hours and then we're going to stop and let that to drive so yeah let's let's go so first things first when you're going on a road trip you must pack the essentials chocolate crisp and everything else delicious Before we leave I just wanted to show you how much stuff we have to bring on holiday with us just for a week and this is only the majority of the things we're taking we've got another few suitcases in the living room um, yeah it's quite funny you know when we turn up at hotels or you know the accommodation they, they tend to take the piss out of us and start saying you know how long are you staying for two months you, you know have you moved out of your house and then start laughing the heads off and I can see the funny side but it's not it's not bloody funny when you've got to pack all this into into the car and you know when when you spe got to spend two weeks three weeks getting everything ready making sure all my medical stuff's ready all my clothes are ready all my medications ready so yeah it's a bit of a nightmare but if you want to travel and live life to the full with a terminal illness this is what you gotta do um so yeah it's worth it 
So guys, we're finally in the car and we're ready to go. I think it's quarter past ten, which is good because we aim to leave at ten, so we're only 15 minutes late. And yeah, we're going to be setting off in just a minute when my mum there in the background gets in the car and my dad and then we're off to Weymouth. I'll be driving the first off, dad will be driving the second off. See you later. arrived at Gloucester services and yeah I drove for about three hours which was good going for me when I started driving like six years ago I used to be able to drive like long journeys like I drove to Edinburgh to London numerous different places but I was suffering just then my arm was going <laughs> my neck's aching so yeah, we're just going to have a bite to eat, show you around the services, it's actually quite nice, there's a little farm shop and stuff like that. And then uh, we're going to get back on the road and my dad's going to drive the left, uh, next leg. So yeah, see you when we get to Weymouth. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's about, I think it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock, <coughs> um, the journey went well, my dad drove the second half and we, yeah, we had, we had a nice journey, Not didn't get stuck in any traffic, I think we arrived about 10 past 4, but the reason I didn't vlog much is because I was in pain when I got to the caravan so I just needed ch to chillax. But we've just come for a walk to take the dog um, for it, to do his business and to have a bit of a play. And I just want to show you the views from this epic view of the caravan site. Like, it, it's amazing. You've got views of the whole site, as you can see behind me. And then you, over the other way, which I'll show you in a minute, you've got views of uh, what what's called Bowley's Cove, which is a cove just to the side of Weymouth. Um, this is why we fell in love with the place last year because in the summer this place is awesome like the sunsets, the hot weather, the views, you know, it's, and there's lots of drives out. I think we went to Dirtle Door last year, we went to um, Portland Rock, Port no, not Portland Rock, Portland Bill, um, and we went to Lulworth Cove, which are all lovely places on the south coast, so yeah. Um, I think we're just going to go for dinner after this, but first let me show you this view. So I promised you an epic view and look at that, there it is. That is amazing, that is 
all of Weymouth you can see there. It's pretty cool. It really is. Such a nice place. Such a nice place. <laughs> Just <laughs> walking home, just me in the restaurant. I had a pizza, and my dad had a hot dog, and my mum had Stampy. So yeah, hold on, I'll just stay in this light while I talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, it's actually, I've only got a t-shirt on, as you can tell, and I'm not that cold. Back in Liverpool, I was freezing. This last week or so, I've been freezing at home, but since we've been in Weymouth today, weather's been nice so yeah um yeah i had pizza dad had hot dog and my mum had scampi um hold on there's a car coming and uh yeah we're having an early night i think it's only about half nine but we're gonna <coughs> sorry still got the flu um we're gonna go back to the caravan and we're probably gonna chill edit this vlog, maybe watch a bit of Netflix and then um, start the day tomorrow. We, we don't really know what we're doing, it's, a, it's more of a case of waking up and seeing what the weather's like, what we're most probably going <coughs> to... First of all go to Tesco or Morrison's and get some food and some milk and some drinks in and snacks and stuff and, um, and then we're going to go out for the day most probably well, to maybe Lulworth Cove again, because <coughs> that's an amazing place. So yeah, if it's a nice day, we'll most probably go there. If not, we'll find something else to do. Uh, yeah, I think this time we want to go to venture, venture further afield. Like, the places we went last year were sort of close by. Like, as I said, Dirtle Door, Lulworth Cove, Portlandville, stuff, places like that. But um, if you venture a bit more further afield, you've got like a town called Dorchester, <coughs> which apparently is a bit like York and Chester, quite an old town. And then you've got um, you've got Sandbanks, which is I think the richest place to live in the UK, is it? Where all like the footballers live and the stars. So yeah, that'd be good to see. It's on the coast. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll see a few nice places while we're here this week. But right now I'm heading to bed. I might check in with you guys before I go to bed. And if not, I'll see you later.